of the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Truth. And today I am here to review a movie that's coming out on DVD and Blu-ray next week, actually this coming Tuesday, and uh, I didn't get a chance to see it in theaters. It came around, but I was in the middle of moving, and by the time I was done with all that, it was gone. So, I unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to see it in theaters. I did get a chance to recently see it, so I am going to review it now. Is it worth picking up on DVD or Blu-ray? Let's find out, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, here's my review of the 2016 crime drama, Hell or High Water. Two brothers resort to small-scale robberies of banks to save their family farm in West Texas from foreclosure after their mother has recently passed away. A pair of Texas Rangers are sent to catch the robbers and try to figure out where they will strike next. The criminals take the stolen money to a casino and launder the money. The brothers soon realize they have to pull off a bigger robbery, however the Rangers are right on their tail. So what did I think of Hell or High Water? I thought it's a superb crime drama. This could easily be considered as a modern day Western as it takes a familiar trope and updates it for the modern times in an interesting way. Now the film is slow paced toward the middle, allowing for a number of conversations, but it does give us time to learn more about and appreciate the characters before all hell breaks loose. I really liked that I ended up somewhere in the middle when rooting for these characters. We want the rangers to capture the robbers because it's what we're used to cheering for, but we also want to see the brothers get away with the jobs and be able to save their farm. The bank robberies themselves are very tense, and things get wild when the customers in the bank decide to take matters into their own hands and follow the brothers in their cars. Of course, there's a showdown between the rangers and the robbers, which is fantastic. There's also a simple but very powerful and effective ending. Surprisingly, there are some truly funny moments in between to give us uh, somewhat of a breather. Between a deadpan waitress at a diner who tells the rangers what they'll be having, and the two rangers going back and forth ribbing each other. The film also does a great job showing the desperation and hard times the nation has been suffering from in certain areas, and everything about the movie feels extremely realistic. Spectacular performances all around from the cast which stars Jeff Bridges as Marcus Hamilton, the soon-to-retire Texas Ranger who's told to bring in the small-scale robbers, Chris Pine as Toby Howard, the divorced father who begins the robberies to help his family, Ben Foster as Tanner, Toby's brother and partner, who's an ex-con and can be easily unhinged, and Jill Birmingham as Alberto Parker, Hamilton's half-Mexican, half-Native American partner and friend. Hell or High Water is a remarkable film that will hopefully get some love this award season and is a must-watch for fans of cinema. I'm going to give it the rating of... A-list approved. That's right, it gets the A-list. Seal of approval. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. There are a lot of movies I have to review that are coming out in the next couple weeks. They're, they're going to get done and they're just over time. <laughs> so make sure you tune in for all those. Until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube youtube.com slash westside of 515. You can like the show on Facebook, facebook.com slash westtroopalist. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter and the Instagram, at westalist. Until next time, truth.